itemized deduction versus standard deduction. What is that? Hey taxpayers, it's Tiffany Gonzalez, CPA here, founder and CEO of Accounting to Scale, and we're back with another installment of What Is That? Where we discuss financial terms you may have heard, but we make them super easy to understand. Today, we're talking about one of my favorite topics, but likely not one of yours. Today, we're talking about taxes, specifically tax deductions. So tune in and let's get started right at the beginning. Itemized versus standard deductions. What is that? I first want to start off by explaining what a tax deduction is. Essentially, you make a certain amount of income and a tax deduction reduces the amount of that income so that your taxable income goes down. And by default, your taxes also go down. A tax deduction is not a dollar for dollar reduction of your tax. It is a reduction of your income. For example, let's say you make $60,000 and you have a $1,000 tax deduction. Your $60,000 goes down by 1,000, which is 59,000. Then your tax rates are applied. Now let's get specific about the standard deduction. The standard deduction is afforded to any taxpayer who files a tax return. A single person filing a tax return will get a standard deduction of $12,400 and a married filing jointly couple will get a standard deduction of $24,800. This means that right off the bat, you're not going to pay taxes on the first $12,400 of your income as a single person. That's amazing, right? Now let's talk about itemized deductions. There are four types of itemized deductions that are the most popular. One is medical expenses. Two is property taxes slash sales taxes slash state income tax. Three is home mortgage interest and four is charitable contributions. You can only take one or the other. What I mean by that is you can only take the standard or the itemized. You can't do both. So typically as your CPA, what we will recommend is that you take the one that is highest, the one that results in the most amount of deductions. Let's use an example. Let's say you don't own a home, so you don't have mortgage interest. You don't have property taxes, but you do give here and there to nonprofits. Let's say you've donated about a thousand dollars for the year. As your CPA, when I'm preparing your tax return, I take a look and see, okay, itemized deductions. All you've got is $1,000 because of those four categories, you only had a thousand dollars, one category. The standard deduction for you as a single individual is 12,400. So which one is more the standard deduction of 12,400 or the itemized deduction of 1000? Definitely the standard. Now let's change up the example a little bit. You own a home, a super expensive home. Your mortgage interest is high, property taxes are high, and you donate here and there to nonprofits. After we've added up all of your itemized deduction, we get to $30,000. $30,000 compared to the standard deduction for you as a single individual of $12,400, there's a huge difference there. In that instance, we're going to take the itemized deductions. The good news here is that you can take the standard one year, the itemized the next, the standard again, the year following. It doesn't matter which year you take what, what matters most is if you itemize your deductions, that you keep all of your receipts for a minimum of three years. This is why it's so important to have a really great CPA. They are going to analyze what is best for you in these types of situations and recommend the best course of action. This is the kind of guidance and expertise that we give at Accounting to Scale. So if you haven't yet prepared your tax return, give us a call at 305-503-2814. We'd love to be your CPA. We hope you enjoyed this latest installment of What Is That? Hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook at Accounting to Scale. Until the next video, your favorite CPA, Tiffany Gonzalez.